Underneath this head cover is a driver that I should probably buy, you should probably buy, and most people should probably buy. But not many of us will. The TaylorMade 300 Mini Driver On Course Test. Let's do it. I'm so excited for this, and let's do it now. Hi everyone, James Robinson here guys. First things first, I'd like to warmly welcome you all back to the channel. I'd like to warmly welcome you all back to Woolley Park Golf Club. It's a beautiful evening and I have the TaylorMade 300 Mini Driver in my hands. What more could you want? Now I've actually already done the indoor testing for this. So I know what the numbers are and I know that they're quite impressive. I actually did it this morning. I'm enjoying it that much. I've come straight here got changed, took the dog out and come straight up. It's quite a windy night, which is a perfect test for it. Oh, stop it, James. Stop it. Oh, just buy one. Can we just watch that ball flight again? I've actually got this set to 13 and a half degrees, which is the standard loft for this driver. I can manipulate it if I want to lower or higher, but I thought, let's keep it as it is for now. So what we're going to do, we're going to play a couple of holes and see what we can score with this mini driver. Guys, get in the comments below, what are we going to score with the TaylorMade 300 mini driver tonight? Oh, what a night. What a night. Now, I think that is what's called position A. And it's a funny one, you know, because I know the numbers. I know that it goes not quite as far as match or driver, but it doesn't do bad. But put me here instead of over there or over there and I'm generally going to score better I think oh come in keep drawing a bit oh that was wonderful and I've actually chosen these holes on purpose because I know I've got an uphill hole into the wind now I've done okay with it there then we've got a downhill hole downwind and then we've got an uphill hole into the wind so it's all the... it's everything you'd want now guys if you do want to see a more in-depth review of this golf club if you want to see all the tech that's in it like i said i've done that in the studio i've spoken about it at quite a lot of length to be fair and i think it's very 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 impressive and it's something which i think most golfers would find helpful and we'll take a bit of that so guys, as always, it's really important to me that you're a part of these videos, so please get in the comments below and let me know, could you see yourself using a TaylorMade 300 Mini Driver on the golf course? Well, I don't know where else you'd use one, but you get what I mean. And this is actually a much more difficult putt than what I anticipated. Go on. Go on. Ah, that's a four. And I suppose the argument there is if you hit a proper driver, if I hit the TaylorMade Sim 2 off that tee, would I have hit the 4 iron in that I hit into the wind? Or would I have hit a 6 iron in or a 7 iron in? And would that have led to a lower score because I'd have hit it closer? There's always that argument. But then if I really wanted to keep it in play, should I have hit a 3 wood? Because there's that argument. There's arguments everywhere. It's like a, it's like a pub at closing time, this video. And you'll see now we have a par four downhill downwind so hopefully we can smash this up in the air and get it the wind's actually going across a bit it's kind of going that way so we'll try to keep it in play as well it's actually an evening where you want to keep the ball flighted lower a bit um, but we're going to try and get this out there i think I do wish i'd have lofted it down but i haven't got a key now I've hit that so well. Just sit. Oh, that's, that is wonderful. <laughs> yes. And you know what's ever so slightly odd? It makes a different sound out here on the course than it did in the studio. Like, better, which is good. But my main concerns with it is, is it any better than the old one? Because the old one was phenomenal, like really, really, really good. 
And this one is, but is it better? Not sure. Okay, so it's not quite position A, but it's a long way down there. So much so that I think a full pitching wedge gets there, you know, we can be quite attacking with this, which I like the idea of. Oh, I'll just draw in. Oh, it's staying out there. Yeah. It's not really a flag you're going to go at. I'll take it. I'm not going to lie, that is quite disappointing, but it's on the green. And you see, this round so far is reminding me a little bit of when I was hitting three wood off every tee. Well, okay, a lot of when I was hitting three wood off every tee. Because I was hitting a lot of greens. Because I was hitting a lot of greens, just not getting close to the flag. I mean, we've pitched there which isn't disastrous, but finished there. So if that means that we're just gonna make a shed load of pars, I don't mind, I really do not mind. Birdies would be nice. Go, go, go! Oh. And this is jogging memories as well because it's easy pars. Like, that wasn't really a birdie opportunity, but it was never really gonna be a bogey. Two more. I know I said we we're only gonna play a couple of holes, but I'm actually really enjoying myself. And I've realized the hole after the hole I was gonna finish on is a downhill par five downwind. So it's probably gonna make the score look a bit better. Honesty is always the best policy, always. And to be honest, I think after hitting it in the studio and seeing the numbers that it can produce, it's not really about the club anymore. It's about me. Yes, it's a 307 cc head. So it's not very big. If you don't quite get it in the middle, it's not going to give you performance or the forgiveness of a normal sized driver. Even with a through slot speed pocket, twist face, multi-material construction, all of it. All of it. Try and hold a line on it and cut it. That's right, I said cut it. Stay there. Not sure. But we shall find it and we shall hit it again because this is golf. Definitely wasn't a cut, was it? Could we blame the wind? Maybe? Bloody wind. Right, we're actually, oh, mind the post. We're actually not that bad. It's definitely not lying amazingly, um, but about 145 in, I'm saying that because that's where the 150 marker is. Now I must admit, I certainly think that these holes into the wind, I would have been better off hitting driver. Nine and a half degree sim two, I can keep it a bit lower. I'd probably be 20, 15, 20 yards further up and that's certainly gonna help. I don't think I'd be any straighter. I could even be in there potentially, uh, but especially the 10th hole, the first hole we played, it was a little bit far back if I'm being brutally honest. And I certainly think I'd like to have it set at 11 and a half instead of 13 and a half if I forgot the key. So there we go. Um, let's go. Let's chip a six out of that lie from there. We've only got half a set, so I think we might need all of this, even from here. That wind's properly picked up. Let's try and get flag high over the bunker and draw in. Oh, big good. Stay there, that's moving a lot. Sit. Oh, that was, oh, that's a vicious bounce as well. Ah, oh, it looks so good at the start. I think sometimes we forget that we're playing the elements as well as the golf course and as well as playing with our clubs. I mean, the, tonight is a difficult night. The wind is up, the wind is howling around a bit and that makes a big difference. What a spider's web, that is there. You guys seeing this? Um, yeah, that makes a big difference. Sorry, attention span of a nit, but a uh, big difference to obviously the shots you're gonna play. I think when it's not a very windy day or night and you can kind of just bomb it, be a lot better. Let's see if we can save par here. At least it's not a very difficult uh, flag position. Hmm. Let's get a lob wedge out. Chris in here. Chris is still at the open. Ah. I'm going to give myself that. Pa. You know, there's just something about when you move a camera angle and then actually play a good shot. It's like, it was worth it. So level par through three holes with the tailor-made 300 mini driver should be called the 307 mini driver. It's 307 cc, but then it's of the tailor-made 300 range from 2001. So how much has the driver had to say in what we're shooting, in what we're scoring? Probably quite a bit, but the wind's now changed. So that par five playing 
across. I know I should have kept it at three. Oh, we are on the back back tees as well. Um, you know, I'd be so tempted just to hit that really, but it's not what the video's about, is it? Right, let's get one down there. It's actually playing a long way, this now. A very long way. Try and almost play like a bit of a trap cut, if we can. Oh, it's not a cut, but it's perfect. Oh, stop it. Oh. It's not what I wanted to do, but it's perfect. I've actually realised what it is. So when you loft it down to 11 and a half, it takes away the kind of toed inness of it with the loft. At 13 and a half, it almost looks a little bit closed to me, which is an absolute nightmare. I'm not going to lie. I'm not as enchanted with it as I was the original one mini driver. I think I'd still be choosing that one over this, which is disappointing. After spending a day with your hero, or you know what I mean, hero. So really guys, get in the comments below and let me know, would you like to see me test this against the original one? And see the difference? I think that would be quite cool actually. So I'm not actually sure if I'm going to leave in the commentary where I'm saying I'm going to try and play a trap cut away from here because actually I just made a big toey high draw into the middle of the fairway and I liked it. Check that out. That's perfection right there. That is position A. And you see this is where you put a four iron pretty close, make eagle, two under for the video. And no one's any the wiser if there was a four shot there, am I safe? Come on, big high fade, he says again. Oh, be good! Go on! Oh, it's just delightful. What a day! Oh, I'm going to be devastated if that's not close, but... Oh, just don't be short. Could be, looking at the yardage. Could be short. Probably short, but I enjoyed it again. You see guys, there's a lot to be said for enjoying yourself. Hitting fairways makes me enjoy myself. That's why I fell in love with the original one, the original mini driver. I didn't mean to do the pun there, but uh, I still can't see a ball. Still can't see a ball. Still can't see a ball. Mm. Oh, I can see a ball. It's just short. That's frustrating, but it's a chance at an eagle. That's really not very far away from being quite good. Now I'm well aware that lob wedge isn't the shot here, but then I'm just not that bothered either. So um, we're going eagle or nothing. Oh, just hold your line then. Hold your line then. Oh! Oh, Chris. You might be coaching at the open, but that's one under for four holes with the mini driver. Guys, thank you ever so much for watching. I really hope you have enjoyed that. If you have, make sure you do smash that subscribe button below. Also leave us a like, just leave us a like. Nobody really, I don't get that many likes. I don't understand why, because a lot of people in the comments say they really enjoy them. So I'm, yeah, I'm asking you now for a like, especially if you stay to the end. Comment below if you stay to the end as well. But also, how good was that? Just how good was that? Guys, I really hope you have enjoyed that. I'm finding a bit of a new lease of life for these videos and I don't know why. So whatever I'm doing it and enjoying it, um, I hope you're enjoying it as well because that's really all that matters. So apart from that, I'll see you at the same time tomorrow. Bye.